Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be an interesting matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the Tennessee Titans. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as these guys get set to match up between the Indianapolis Colts and the Tennessee Titans. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we take a look at this Titan ball club entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Colts, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Wolfman Lewis, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are on another episode of the Dennis Ford, my career right here on Madden 19. If you missed any of the other episodes, they're available here on the channel in the playlist. Looks like the Colts are marching down. Third and two in a sack, and they will punt it. And here comes Denny. Overthrew him. Complete to open things up. Yeah, good game got the ball the backfield a week ago. And they're going to try and involve him in that way in this game as well. But you can tell scouting has taken over. They're making it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, defensively, they told us, hey, we've got to take him out of the passing game, limit it to just short runs, because he can really impact this offense. And they go on the ground. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. What the fudge are you doing, Mariota? Thirty-six yard punt. Heck, that was a horrible punt. Minus three yards on the rush, two yard rush, twelve yard reception. Third and six, a 10-yard reception for the Colts. Penalty flag. Second and four now, second down and incomplete. They add a field goal. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. But they're looking for a now as a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just to so that was the first down. Looking for here. The numbers for him from a week ago. Eight catches, 124 yards. And in the preparation for the game, you notice where guys rank in the lead in terms of statistical categories. He's then he tried to fight his way there, could not get much. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Mariota now on second down. And incomplete. Be incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Denny sets up, six yard reception, fourth and three, and a nice punt of 46 yards to return, zero yards. They're bringing it out, out of the 12 yard line. A pass is dropped, five yards. 15 yards on the third down conversion by the Colts. The Colts taking it down the field. Negative two yards on the rush. Incomplete pass. And here we go. Hey. 
And on the ground they go with the running back. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. So just a lone field goal in this first quarter of play. 3-0 is our score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. They'll run it now out of the gun. It's a seven-yard gain there. It's good enough to move the chains. And now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15 first and 10. A first down throw for Mariota. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy that can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Now a second down throw for Mariota. Oh, my goodness. Woo. I thought he was going to lose it there. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On first and ten, here's Mario. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be. First and, and 10 on the wide receiver yeah, quick. You, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage. Knew where the pressure was going to come from. And said, I, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. And Denny, wait a minute. I'm not sure what that was. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Here we go, folks. It's Denny. It's set here. Oh, they hit it on. They headed it off to Denny, and Denny was not. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there. The backs against the wall. That's a win for the stock troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? And Fortnite is done, folks. Touchdown! Titans! Touchdown, Tennessee! As his guys are in for six. There you have it, folks. Strike for six. Nice one. There you have it, folks. The Titans add the extra point. A complete pass. Another one. 23 yards. Five yard reception there. Touchdown. Mariota on first down. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. 
That's the face mask. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face Personal mask. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage. So Kenny Moore, the second. Second and 12 now. Second down, Mariota. That's the right side here, complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. Mariota. Incomplete. The free safety Malik Hooker there in first and ten Titans, 53 seconds remaining in the half. Here we go now. They go play action here on first down. And Davis has it over the middle. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. To the air again. Mario. He's got it. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down. Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now a handoff looking right. Teddy's in. Well, there you have it, folks. Denny gets in. The extra point attempt is good. The Titans go in with the 14-10 lead at the half. Here we come. Here we go, folks. Denny waiting. The Browns deep, or not the Browns, they get the Colts defense, folks. Just yeah, unbelievable. Darius Leonard. Tough game. Tough sledding right there. And it's been that way the entire game. Oh, what a pitch. And what a catch. And he goes down, but not before he's getting this inside the 25. That was a great pitch pass there. He just threw it up there and went for it. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Denny dropped it. Defensively, though, adjusting because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open. Not that time. You mentioned the key word adjustment. A better cover man. Here we go, space. folks. Denny. Touchdown, Titans. Did he make it? No. was in the zone they ran a crossing route offensively but the defense then he walks in
Titans find a way to stretch their lead. A good. There you have it, folks. The Titans stretch their lead 21 10. Kick off a 66 yards to Irving. Gets the touchback. Only a two yards for Landon Sweeten or Sweeten. Welker. Moving it down the field. First and ten Colts, 16 yards to Barksdale. And a touchdown. And an extra point. Or a two-point conversion, if you will. Down right at the 30 here. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Mariota incomplete. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. One, one, one. Now Mariota. He's got him in, Cole Davis. And getting this chest shy of your field is spotted at the 49. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. You used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Second Just down at three run. now he for the Titans. He thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. Denny got Denny smothered. Denny. He tried. And he could not get anywhere. Absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Denny, progression. Give him the first down. Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. And just in general, so Denny's going to stay back. out this one. Denny going to sell the sidelines for this one for a hot minute. Oh, and there's a flag. I believe that's a false start on the offense. Well, the false start on the offense, folks, was not what the Titans needed there. Denny back in. Oh, and Denny just, he should have went around the right side, but did not do it. Practice very often. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely no way to run there. They almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. One, one, one. One, and the blitz does come. Looking for the end zone. So they took a shot there on third down. Couldn't get it. Now it's four. Well, the Titans will kick a field goal. 24-18. Five seconds left. We're now in the fourth quarter of play. As the Titans doing their thing here. Pass knocked away. And a touchdown, and wait a minute. Hold the phone. The Colts have taken the lead 25-24. Denny will stay out for this one. Blue 
Working out of the gun, Mariota. He will find Davis on the left side complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So six grabs for 92 yards for Davis. Over that 300 yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300 yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence. Oh no, he overthrew Denny. He threw it out. Down there, but it's incomplete. Incomplete. So the Titans will have to put it here and pray that the defense, no, the Titans missed the field goal. I think that's what happened there. So the Titans, with 42 seconds left, will have to do some kind of miracle here. They need a touchdown, folks. A field goal does not win this one. Back to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. He's back to throw. And nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clenched it and caught it. Instead, it gives him one more chance here on fourth down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is it just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. This was a heartbreaker, folks. This was a heartbreaker, and I mean that literally a heartbreaker. A heartbreaker, folks. Of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? <laughs> Seeing the 14 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So for Indianapolis, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 now on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, for the Titans, they'll fall to 1-2. And, and they will be at home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins. So for our entire crew... But yeah, folks, that is a heartbreaker right there. The Titans played really well in that game. Mar Mariota did really well. No interceptions, but uh, just couldn't come up with it when he needed to. The defense was not uh, was not there when we needed him. So the Colts come out with the victory, 28-24. As you heard Brandon Gotten say, we got to take on the Miami Dolphins next. That's where Denny's next task is. Against the Miami Dolphins. Uh, just. I have no idea what's going to happen. We're going to try our best. To beat the Dolphins folks. If you're new. Scratch the claw marks in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Come over to Wolfpack fam today. Sniffing by into the bell icon. Become part of the notification squad. Do not forget to put a like to the video. It is much appreciated. Remember always stay hungry. Hungry like the wolf. Wolfman Lewis. Arr! Ah, it's out.